want. And I think that's all God wants. Uh, but he's doing damage in the meantime uh, by bringing yeah, the confusion. So the that's thing is, if he, if he repents, he, all of the books are still out there to keep him in the right. right. That's right. Well, yeah. You know, destroying it, you know, or causing kind of confusion, just like you said. So. Yeah. Heresy is not only wrong interpretation, it's also what you do with that interpretation. Mm -hmm. How you bring confusion and damage um, to the body of Christ. God reveals to us in Genesis that he also created man in his image and likeness. This image was utterly marred through Adam and Eve's rebellion against him. Notice that I'm mentioning Romans 3 and then Romans 5, 12 through 14. So the theological doctrine of the fall is... is Paul mentions in Romans 5, 12 through 14, he's going back to Genesis to establish his doctrine. Remember, this is all about the various doctrines that are throughout the Bible that begin in Genesis. What is God's response to that rebellion? It is redemption, the goal of the rest of Scripture and salvation history. Thus, paragraph 7, one Old Testament scholar concludes if the nature of man can be defined by the theme of the image of God, image of God, image of God, um, his function can be qualified as the imitation of God. I love that. Let me read it again. If the nature of man can be defined by the theme of the image of God, his function can be qualified as the imitation of God. Well, what does Paul say? Follow me, imitation, as I follow Christ. Or imitate me as I follow Christ. What does Jesus say? I only do that which I see the Father doing. That's a part of redemption. I love the song... Um, Kim Walker does, where you go, I'll go. What you say, I'll say. What you pray, I'll pray. That's imitation. Well, what, is, what does Paul say in Romans 5, 1? Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and of all things he can say, walk in love, just as Christ also loved us and gave himself up for us. Again, what's, what's resident within this idea of him giving himself up for us is a God who exists for us rather than him saying you exist for me. Now, yes, we do exist for him in a sense. We live and move and have our being in him. We are slaves of Christ Jesus, but the irony of it all is that now we're ultimately free. So that you got this, the, the irony of scripture that we go down to go up. We serve to become great. Um, and so this, this is a profound quote from him. That's why I put that in there. We're called to imitate God. God ordained marriage between a man and a woman, and family he ordained. Ephesians 5 looks back at that. This led to the growth of society, which tragically rebels against him. Throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, we see God patiently seeking to restore rebellious man to himself. And I'm going to squeeze in one more in these last two minutes that I have. Woohoo! We made it through ten pages of now. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, paragraph eight. However, in this great theme of God's gracious restoration, in this restoration, that's what he's doing. Restoration. <clears throat> read my writing. Restoration and redemption of man. God determines to redeem man from his sin and restore that beautiful image of God in him, which the New Testament later addresses. I would say, I often say, God's number one goal, what this is all about, is salvation isn't just saving us from our sin. That's just the start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Salvation is to restore us into the image of God mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. It is to restore us. Into, and that's why we place so much emphasis in the New Testament on Jesus. Praise God. There it is. And we'll have to stop right there because it's 12 o'clock.
You don't want to go ahead and knock out number nine. <laughs> no, because I want to be I want to be yeah. considerate of these guys right here because I know I know me if I do number nine then I'm going to want to be number ten. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're, we're gonna, no, no. no. Hey, that's why we have a time limit, right? Nine to twelve. And I, if I don't force myself to be good, then you'll be here till one o'clock, and I'll say, "Oh, let's just do one more." Right. 